want to welcome you to Living Life. Today we're going to see the power of generosity and obedience. Because here in our text in Exodus chapter 38, we're going to see that the people of God actually get it right. They're obedient and they're generous and they're providing materials for the tabernacle and they do it voluntarily. And so what a great place for us to see and just be reminded that God's word says that God loves a cheerful giver and he also likes a generous giver, right? He doesn't want us to give grudgingly or, you know, to, so that others might see what we're doing or try to be, you know, parade our wealth or anything like that. He doesn't want us to do things out of duty, but out of delight, and that we would rejoice in giving. And as we turn to the passage today, we're going to see that the people of God really came through, and they were generous. I mean, they were very generous, and you'll see that as the text is read. So may this warm our hearts and maybe stir us to think how we might give up and beyond what we've been doing to help the work of our own church or ministries that are out there doing a good work for the kingdom of God. Well, let's keep this in mind as we turn to the scriptures and what a blessed place to see the power of generosity and obedience. Exodus chapter 38, verses 21 through 31. These are the amounts of the materials used for the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the covenant law which were recorded at Moses' command by the Levites under the direction of Ithamar son of Aaron the priest. Bezalel son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah, made everything the Lord commanded Moses. With him was Oholiab son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and designer, and an embroiderer in blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen. The total amount of the gold from the wave offering used for all the work on the sanctuary was 29 talents and 730 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. The silver obtained from those of the community who were counted in the census was 100 talents and 1,775 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel, one becca per person, that is half a shekel, according to the sanctuary shekel, from everyone who had crossed over to those counted 20 years old or more, a total of 603,550 men. The 100 talents of silver were used to cast the bases for the sanctuary and for the curtain, 100 bases from the 100 talents, one talent for each base. They used the 1,775 shekels to make the hooks for the posts, to overlay the tops of the posts, and to make their bands. The bronze from the wave offering was 70 talents and 2,400 shekels. They used it to make the bases for the entrance to the tent of meeting, the bronze altar with its bronze grating and all its utensils, the bases for the surrounding courtyard and those for its entrance and all the tent pegs for the tabernacle and those for the surrounding courtyard. So the people of God are building this tabernacle. Now let's be mindful of the fact that that tabernacle is representing God's presence with the people. And it's this portable sanctuary, right? It's a place where there would be worship and people would be mindful of their need of forgiveness and how God offers it to them. And that God is their God and they are his people. And by participating in the tabernacle and all that is there, they're actually affirming that and saying, yes, Lord, you are our God. We are your people. And so they give the materials for the tabernacle to be built. 
And in fact, they gave generously. And we're told in this scripture, like with the gold that is given and the silver and the bronze that they gave in such a way that it was just an amazing amount, right? We see the statistics there. And as I think about it and as I, I inquired into what it might cost today, if I'm doing my calculations correctly, it's, it would be well over $50 million worth of material just in those precious metals. Well, that's being very generous. And, you know, it just reminds me of how ministries today really need the generosity of God's people. I know that when I started the ministry that I have called Robin's Nest Ministries, where we pastor pastors, right, where we're just out there seeking to advance Christian spiritual formation in pastors and churches around the world. Well, I was always thinking that there would become this one big donor that would really help the ministry. But in over 20 years, that one big donor hasn't arrived. I remember when I shared the vision of the ministry with a mentor of mine named Dallas Willard, and we were up in the foothills of Southern California, and I mentioned about our needs, and he said, you know, Steve, someone out there, and he showed me that LA basin with all the houses and cities and businesses, and he said, someone can just write a check, and that will be provided. Well, we haven't had the one big donor, but we've had faithful givers, and every year we have more opportunities to serve. And so, actually, God is the great one big donor, right? He has given us vision for the ministry, He provides for our needs, and He gives us more and more opportunities to serve pastors. Well, I want to ask you a question. It's this. What does your current level of generosity reveal about your faith in this generous God that we have? I mean, think about your giving. And I just want to encourage you to expand your vision of God being generous and know that He provides for you. He's watching over you. And as you step into a life with Him, you know that He will provide. He is the great provider, right? He's that one big donor. He has everything that you need. And He knows your needs. And know that you can trust Him. And so I want to encourage you to step into just a bigger intention, like a decision that you're going to trust this generous God. And maybe make just a, a thought that you could give more than what you're giving. Give a special gift to your church. Or you, you can also give to a ministry that you're aware of, that you really like the service that they're providing. You know, as we make our way through this life, and God gives us so many things, and He blesses us in so many ways, and we have His presence with us, He invites us to join in and to be cheerful, generous givers. And we know that we can be so because God provides for us. So this Living Life devotional, I just want to encourage you to think about your own giving and give thanks to God for the many blessings that he's given to you and thank God for your church. And if by chance you are not back in church, I want to encourage you to step back into this fellowship where there's mutual support, accountability, and you get to be the gathered people 
who worship this generous God and do so to God's glory and your joy. As we close our Living Life devotional today, and we've seen the power of generosity and obedience in the people of God when they're out there in the wilderness and they're providing the materials for the tabernacle, this portable sanctuary where they can worship God and know that God is their God and they are his people. We see in our text that they were very generous. And yes, there was a voluntary offering given for the gold and the silver. And then for the bronze, it was more like a tax because a census was given. But nevertheless, they were generous. And it should just be something that reminds us that we too, as God's people, can be generous. God loves people who are not just cheerful givers, but generous givers and providing for the churches and the ministries that are out there doing kingdom work. Let's pray. Well, Heavenly Father, we do want to lift up the churches that are represented by the people who are watching and listening to this Living Life devotional. Lord, I pray that you would provide for the needs of the church, needs of the pastors, and Lord, you'd also be providing for the ministries that are out there doing a good work. And Lord, I ask that you would bring it to the hearts of God's people that they could be generous because you are generous. And so, Lord, I ask that you would bless the gift as well as the giver. Lord, we thank you and praise you for being a generous God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.